Hello, 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 everyone. This is Jonathan Riley once again, once again, for MaximalExposure.net, where we provide online promotions for small businesses. Today's topic is the lucky bastards of business. Now, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Now, th this video is going to be about cats that have made it big. Um, people that have made millions in the business world in, in just a couple of months or, or, or the, the, the small time guys who've made it huge in business, the, uh, CEOs of, of Facebook or Twitter, the, 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 the college guys that, 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 quit and, and, and all of a sudden had a multi-billion dollar business on their hands. I know what you're thinking. That this is what this video is going to be about. And I want to say the, the title of this video, once again, the lucky bastards of business, because it's kind of, it's sort of misleading because Let's talk about these guys, these guys that made it big in, in, in the uh, business world that came up with an idea and, and had huge and continue to have huge success. The, the, the Facebooks and not just social medias, the Steve Jobs, the, uh, Bill Gates, guys that really, really put have put their mark on the world. The guys really have literally changed the world. Those big guys. It was not necessarily about the big guys. It's about the unknowns. Uh, the guy who. created Forbes magazine or the, the, the guy who created, who invented locks, the, the guy who invented nonstick frying pans, you know, I'm, I'm including these guys, I'm, I'm including those guys and gals in this video as well. I'm not just talking about the big boys. But I wanted to, I wanted to entitle this the, the lucky bastards of business because, and the reason why I say it's misleading, but misleading is because I don't think there are any lucky bastards in business at all, period. Because whether you, Started off in a garage. Whether you, whether your parents had money and, and, and were able to put you in the college and get you the proper education. Luck has absolutely nothing to do with business and you can be in the right place at the right time. You can have, you can come up with the best idea in the world. You can quit college and work your tail off for 16 years before you hit it big. None of that is luck. Business is hard work, period. Now, you say, how was it hard work when a guy, if a guy has money, let's say John, let's say John Kennedy, how, how is, how is it, how is that hard work? I mean, when his dad had millions of dollars, hundreds of political connections, how, how is that luck that this, this guy ended up being president? Well, this guy, John Kennedy, if I'm not mistaken, went to Harvard. 
So he he wasn't a dummy, and I I think his these his senior year thesis uh, went on to be like a bestseller or something. I, this guy was smart, you know. And any any of you that ever went to college, I went to I went to community college. I went to a junior college and did not graduate. So anybody that anybody like me that's ever opened a college textbook or locked themselves in their room and turned off the TV and, and got to study and knows that learning is not easy. It might come easier for some people than others, others but learning period is not easy. Going through college is not easy. Uh, and particularly every, if you listen to my videos, you know, I have a hard time with this word, particularly Running a business is not easy. Making it successful is not easy. People may catch on to your idea earlier than some. People might buy your product before they buy some. I would say the only luck, I would say that uh, none of it's easy, none of it's luck. The only, uh, the closest thing to luck about business is you, you were the lucky bastard that came up with the idea. And if you want to get technical, not even that, because, because Maybe a million people came up with the idea of post post-its, but it's the it's the guy who put that idea in into fruition fruition and did the hard work and did the, the promotion and, and brought his idea to investors or made his idea into reality that is the one that's successful. And it's not luck that did it. So being the lucky bastard that started, that went to college and quit college and started up in his uh, business, started up his business in his garage or in his living room, that's not luck. The guy's, the guy's parents who who may have had money and had the ability to put him through school and 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 had a know, knew a few people to to put him on somewhere else, that's not luck. Because yeah, they 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 might have they might have the ability or they might know the people to to put you in that certain certain position, but you have to make that position a success. Because even if if people vote you in it as president, you have to make your presidency a success, or you you'll you'll end up like a uh, like a Richard Nixon or. Or even in Abraham Lincoln. It's you that has to make, make it a success. And luck has absolutely nothing to do with it. Because like the like like I was saying earlier about uh, those of us that went to college that open open a book to learn to study. No, it's not e no, it's not easy. And those of us that have came up with an idea, idea for business and actually started up a website, started up a, a repair shop in their garage and ended up with 20 chains of them. That's a good story, but that's it's, it's not the same thing as luck. So in my opinion, there are no lucky bastards of business. And that's why the title is a little, a little misleading. But I did that for a reason. I did that because I wanted to first spark your interest and to get your opinion about it. Tell, tell me if I missed something. Tell me 
Give me a guy that just. Give me a guy that walked across the street and stumbled into a, a, a successful business. Guess what? He had to get up out of his seat. He had to walk out of his door and he had to walk across the street. That's not luck to me. And you might ask, well, what, what is luck to you? If that's not luck to you, what, what is lucky? Luck to me is winning the lottery. Oh, yeah, but you still got to get up out of your couch and and, and uh, walk to the store. And that's work. No, luck is not putting in any type of work. And still making it, making something out of a success. Luck to me is not having an idea and making it into something realistic. And and still making it big. That's luck. Luck is not having to open a textbook. Not having to begin a marketing and advertising campaign. Not having to put something, make something real into something, making something out of nothing. Luck to me is making it big without doing those things, without having to do those things. That's luck to me. And winning, and winning the lottery, you don't have to come up with an idea. You don't have to come up with a marketing strategy. You don't have to put your name on social media. You don't have to start a billion, a million social media accounts. You don't have to sit here in your living room and, 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 and talk into a recorder like I'm doing. You don't have to get out there and, and sell yourself. You don't have to open up a textbook. You don't have to go to college. You don't have to get a degree. You don't have to, 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 Take a, a leap of faith, drop out of school to pursue your dream. And if you're asking me what I think luck is, that's luck to me. When you don't have to do those things and you still make it big. Inheritance is luck. If you sit on, if you sit on your ass, not go to school, do absolutely nothing. Your parents placated your whole for their whole lives. Then when they die, you get everything that they've earned. Earned. They did everything what I just said that 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 needs to be done in order to be successful. They did it, and you just you just basically sit around and do absolutely and twiddle your thumbs, wait till they die. Then you get their millions or billions of dollars. That's luck. You were damn lucky enough to get hard, hard, hard working or, or, uh, intelligent enough parents. Luck to me is making it big and not having to put in the work that it takes to make it big. And there's not, mer- there's not very many people. There's not. Uh, just like there's not, there's there's not too too many people like that. It's just like there's not too many people that hit it big with the lottery. There's not. It's like there's not too many uh, people that made it big. Betting is luck. Oh, Vegas says there's a there's a system to it. No, it's luck. The stock market is luck because you can invest. And just all of a sudden the stock goes up. <laughs> you know, I could take a, I could take 10 bucks, you know, invest in something and, you know, that's luck. Cause you don't have to envision anything. You don't have to learn anything. You don't have to put in the hard work to anything. You don't have to make something out of nothing. That's luck. So there is no luck in small business, in my opinion. What's your opinion? This is Jonathan Riley. 
from MaximalExposure.net, where my business, where I work hard, and what I do every day is online promotions for your small business. That's my business. And that's not luck. It's hard work.